In this video, I'm going to show you how we made our own gravity-fed water purification system. This is the system that we use for our daily drinking water, but it's also good for emergencies. And especially here in Hawaii, when hurricanes can happen and other disasters like tsunamis, it's good to have a backup system for your drinking water. Pure water is essential for good health, and in an emergency situation, it's critical for survival. Where we live, the water quality is pretty good, but it does have chlorine in it, and there are traces of various chemicals. Hawaii is a agricultural state, and there's a lot of pesticides and herbicides that have been used and are in the water at some level. We feel it's important to filter that out, especially for our daily drinking water. We also live in an older building, and we don't really trust the water system to our faucet. Even though it's municipal, we decided to filter as much of the bad stuff out that we could, as exposure to certain chemicals and toxins is cumulative and can have an adverse effect on your health. With this system, we always have about five to six gallons of fresh water that we can use, and if necessary, it's easily transportable. This system is also relatively inexpensive. The ceramic filters ran around $95, and they will filter approximately 6,000 gallons between the two of them, and the plastic food grade buckets with the fittings cost around $35. I figured that this system is costing right around two cents a gallon. Now let's talk about the filters that I've chosen for our system. After a lot of research on my part, I decided to go with ProPure Pro Black D ceramic domed high performance water ceramic filters. These ceramic filters have activated charcoal and are impregnated with silver to cut down on bacteria and are self-sterilizing. These filters will remove all suspended matter larger than 0.3 microns. They're easy to clean and each filter is rated up to 3,000 gallons. You can go to the ProPure website at ProPureUSA.com and look at the statistics yourself. ProPure rates their, uh, their filters at uh, being able to take out typhoid, salmonella, and other fecal coliform up to 99.99%, E. coli 100%, cysts, and other pathogens, and also greatly reduces uh, other chemicals that might be in the water. And unlike distilled water, these filters will not take out beneficial trace minerals. However, if you decide that you'd like to go with another brand of filter, like let's say the Berkey filters, these instructions will be good for that as well. On the Big Island of Hawaii, fluoride is not added to the municipal water. If I were in an area where fluoride was added, I would pick up the Pro Black by Pro Pure, which is an advanced fluoride filter system and is also sold in pairs and piggybacks onto the ceramic filters. You would just thread that onto the end and you could get that added filtration. We may invest in these filters as if there was an emergency situation, these filters would be good to have on hand uh, for extra protection. In fact, if it was an emergency situation and we were forced to use standing water or water from streams, I would treat it using bleach or other purification tablets and filter it through something like a cotton shirt or something to remove sediment before it would go into the filtration system that we have here. In fact, if possible, I would boil it as well. You don't want to take any chances with your family's health. Okay, so let's get on with making the system. We first started out by going down to the local beer making supply house and picked up two food grade six gallon plastic buckets with lids and a spigot that would be attached to the lower bucket. 
If you don't have a beer making supply house locally, these items can be picked up easily online. You can see here where I've drilled a hole, and that's where the spigot is going to go. The spigot is threaded, has a nut with two rubber washers, and this goes into the hole and prevents water from seeping out. You'll notice that I'm using a Bosch step bit throughout this video. Um, I find that these step bits are now invaluable. I'm able to use them to drill through stainless steel and it's very easy to drill through plastic of course and it leaves a really nice clean edge which is important for making a seal. However if you have your own bits uh, just make sure you have ones large enough and if in a pinch you could actually cut in with a knife and still uh, make your uh, system. I started by placing one rubber washer onto the spigot assembly so that it's on the outside of the bucket and I put it through the hole and then I put the other washer on the inside and then the nut I hand tightened to make sure it made a good seal although be careful not to over tighten that can actually cause problems with the seal and strip the plastic threading next it's time to install the ceramic filters measure the threads that are on the filters and choose a bit that the filter threads will just pass through I decided to take the rubber washer that came with the filter and threaded that onto the filter first so that the seal would happen at the bottom of the bucket with the filter. This seems to work out well with our system and makes a good seal. Before you start drilling holes though, place the filters in the bucket and make sure that they fit and then mark your holes as to where you're going to drill. Buckets come in different configurations and you want to make sure that the filters fit before drilling in holes instead of later when you find out that maybe they didn't fit. And then you have to plug holes and re-drill the ones that you're going to use for your filters. Once you're sure that your filters are going to fit, drill your holes. Notice that I've taped the variable drill bit so that I know exactly how far to drill into without going to a larger size. Next, I take the lid of the bottom bucket and I place it on the bottom of the top bucket. The top bucket is going to rest on the bottom bucket. So I need to make sure that the holes line up. So once I'm sure that the holes are lining up, then I go ahead and drill through the lid of the bottom bucket. This is fairly easy to do because you can see the holes through the plastic. Next I get ready to install the filters. Now there is one note of caution. They are ceramic and can break so keep them in the box until you're ready to install them. Next I take the filters and thread them through the holes of the top bucket into the lid of the bottom bucket. Next, I use the plastic nuts that are provided with the ceramic filters and I hand tighten the filter assembly. So this is what it looks like when I've got the ceramic filters installed through the bottom of the top bucket and also the lid of the bottom bucket. And I make sure that everything's tightened down well because that seal has to be good in order for the water to filter well. Next I take the top bucket assembly with the filters and I place it on the bottom bucket and make sure everything's lining up. And that's about it. 
Next, uh, we're going to fill up the top bucket with some water. We're just going to use the tap water, and then we'll take this top assembly and put it onto the bottom bucket. And the water starts to filter. Next, we put the lid on the top bucket so there's no contaminants that can drop into the water. The water filters fairly slowly, which it should, and it might take about three hours to filter five gallons. So there you have it. Fresh, filtered, clean water. Tastes so good. I hope this video was informative and maybe help you build your own system. And if it did, please like it. It helps out a lot. All right. Aloha.